Hey, everybody. Uh, sorry, it's been a couple of days. I have been absolutely slammed. Um, so, literally went from, you know, the bottom all the way up. And um, I'm currently working on setting up a contractor database um, alongside one of the... Uh, one of the larger operations and collaborating with the Army, National Guard, all that type of stuff. So I'm setting up a database right now for uh, skilled tradesmen. If you know anyone, uh, any skilled tradesmen that would like to be on this database, the intent's going to be that we are going to uh, get jobs in. And um, a lot of these people have lost everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. And so, I mean, we're talking, we're probably going to be rebuilding houses, some from scratch. Um, kind of still working out some of the details, but what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to arrange jobs in duration from two to five days. Uh, then once we have those jobs arranged in duration, we're going to reach out to our cost customer, our, our uh, contractor database and, uh, and, and draw in, uh, contractors from that database, uh, to be able to solve it. We don't want to waste their time, your time as a contractor. Um, I know that since I've been here, I've seen a lot of guys working well below their skill level. They're just doing what needs to be done, and I appreciate that. But um, I, I'd rather us not see a wasted human resource. Um, so currently working on getting this database together. I'll, I'll put a link up for that database. Uh, if, you or, if you are a skilled tradesman that would like to come help Western North Carolina in the coming months, I mean, we're talking this is going to be probably at least a six-month, up to two-year um, ordeal, uh, that this is going to be. If you'd like to be on that on that um, a database, or if you know anyone who would, uh, it's not committing to anything. It's just um, saying that you're going to want to get updates um, for these jobs that will be coming up. I need skilled tradesmen. I need plumbers, electricians, framers, drywallers, all that. Um, so that's what's going on. Um, I just was inside one of the forward operating bases um, requesting some assistance on a project that I was working on and saw a need, filled the need, and got a desk in there. I don't know how that happens. Um, but uh, <laughs> so I'm working on that right now. Um, if you'd like to be on or know somebody who would, please, please, um, I'll, I'll get the, um, the link in there. Please fill out uh, the, that link, the form in that link. Because uh, we are going to need some licensed, skilled tradesmen. I am currently working with the state um, on on reciprocities and all those fun things, um, and and uh, the liabilities, blah blah blah, to get all that nailed out tight. But um, we do have that coming up. If you'd like to be a part, um, I know I've talked to a lot of people nationally that that have reached out to me since I've been over here. That said, we'd love to come help. We just don't know what to do. So. Here's something you can do. If you'd like to be on it or if you know someone who would, reach out to all your trades, all the tradesmen that you know in your life and, and get them this link. If you'd like to be on it, uh, on this list, it's just going to mean you're going to get texts and emails saying that we've got job, uh, this job, this project, and we need this trade. Um, and uh, so uh, we'll, we're going to try not to waste anyone's time and get you guys the ability to help um, and the ability to help where you're skilled and trained best. So that's what we're working on with that. This morning is Sunday morning, so I uh, I slept in. Ah, that was nice, and because uh, I've been doing like uh, 14, 16 hour days, something like that. Uh, so I slept in today, which is great. And I am currently heading up to um, Chestnut Hill Baptist Church. Um, I'm gonna try to be a blessing to that church today. Um, Chestnut Hill Baptist Church. Uh, uh, Pastor Ronnie Harris is his name. Uh, it's a church of, I think, like like 30 or 40 people, something like that. Um, and they lost 13 people um, in in the hurricane. So, um, and two of them were lost rescuing the pastor out of his truck. So, um, I, I just want to go just love on them and uh, and and just spend time um, spend time with them with God. And uh, and so that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, I'll be back at my desk. Um, probably this afternoon, but, uh, uh, first things first. So, um, gonna, gonna just enjoy some time with God, with them and, uh, sweet, sweet people, uh, be praying for that church. Um, it's that church, nearly everybody lost nearly everything. And, um, in that church, I, I, I can't even, 
I can't even like figure out how I could communicate to you, you know, what I'm seeing in some of these things. But the thing that's the most amazing to me is the sweetness of spirit, just the absolute sweetness of spirit. And, uh, last Sunday, um, I know that they did not have a regular service. Um, they had just one service at 2 PM, uh, last Sunday and they had three people saved in that church. Um, and, uh, and he said it was packed just ab- he said, we've never had attendance that high. And they had three people saved. Um, I believe that, um, a bunch of the guardsmen that I've been working with are going to try to be there with me today as well. So, uh, we're going to try to pack the house out again. Right. Um, but, uh, so that's, that's what I'm working on. It has been one of the things that, that has been amazing with the people up here is you cannot ask them, are you okay? Nor can you ask them, um, do you need anything? Because they will say, I'm fine. I don't need anything. Uh, I, I spoke to a lady in her eighties yesterday. I just did a, a wellness check at the end of my day. Um, just needed to get out of the, off the desk for a little bit. So I went over and did a wellness check on a gal that, that they had made contact with a gal in her eighties and, uh, uh, Miss Ruby. And, and, uh, so I asked her if she needed anything. She said, no. So then I asked leading questions and I said, what food do you have in the house? And, um, <clears throat> Miss Ruby had three cans of soup left in the house. Uh, and, and that's been a very consistent thing with these folks is, um, is if you say, do you need anything? They will say no. Uh, you have to ask leading questions. Uh, so I will say if, if you're, if you're following this and you're actually up here doing anything with these folks, um, cannot be generic, gotta be specific, gotta almost lead them. Uh, I talked to a, a farmer last night on the phone and, um, we called into the call center and, and, uh, um, and, and found out that he, uh, he's been trying to keep his cattle in, even though the landslide took out his whole back fence. And, uh, um, I, I know uh, Jonathan's following this. Jonathan actually went and checked on him. Um, so I mean, yeah, again, these people, you, you cannot, you can't ask them how they're doing, or you cannot ask them what they need. They're fine. They don't need anything. But when you start asking questions, they're not fine and they do need things. So that's kind of what it is. Sweetest of people. I have had so many people ask, will you pray with me? And, um, and, and that's been an absolute blessing, but, uh, I appreciate you guys have an awesome Sunday. Uh, again, if you'd like to continue to give, um, we do have the, the, the link to where we can get funds out to the right places. Uh, also, I'll be getting the link up for skilled tradesmen. Uh, please get this out to as many uh, skilled tradesmen as you know, um, and uh, and and we'll t- we'll get a database to where we can start making these people whole. Because insurance insurance isn't going to help them. It's just where it is. Insurance is going to help them. You guys have an awesome Sunday, and uh, I look forward to talking to you soon. Kill it.